Hey everyone, it's Sydney. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So I'm here today with a flip through of my latest completed journal. This is a storybook journal or a storytelling journal. Um, and the book is a book called Something Absolutely Enormous. And it's essentially the story of a girl who gets really into knitting and she doesn't do anything small. She does everything big. So I will read the story to you as I do the flip through. I kept the whole story in the book. Um, all the pages were used in the book. This cover is made from the cover of the original book. Um, and this yarn that you see for the closure and the spine dangle um, is actually my own hand spun yarn. And I did a, a video for my Patreon that shows you my whole process of making this yarn and how it's done and um, kind of, you know, how it sort of links up to the book. So. That being said, this is a six signature book. Um, the way that I attach the spine dangle is via one of these little clippy kind of eyelet things that has the loop. I don't know what they're called exactly, um, but then I've attached six strands of this pretty yarn and then the closure is with gold eyelets and it is more of this yarn. I really like how the yarn turned out. Um, so the cover itself is part of the original children's book cover that I then clear embossed and I've added brads to attach it to the front of the book. I did a little painting here and a little tiny snip of like the left over little bit left of the book that I have um, just to cover up like the title of the original book because it didn't have anything to do with the book that I made and I really wanted to keep this though because it was just quite pretty. So let's jump on into this journal. <clears throat> so nice long ties you can trim these if you want I just wanted to make them nice and long so that you know if you wanted them to be floofy they would be so the inside papers um, the end papers are the same I've made a pocket here and because you know all things like buttons and clasps and scissors and such are intrinsic to knitting just like sewing I wanted to include just a little vintage DeLong snap card that I've had for quite some while in my stash and I just thought it was a nice little add in there. Sally loved knitting and I've stitched some little yarn bits on the side. This is like a little mouse that's in a little knitted kind of cave. This is some handmade paper that was utterly perfect for this book, both because it has string in it and also it's orange. This is actually a vintage children's lacing card and I turned it into a journal card and it has the, the yarn strung into it. Every birthday and every Christmas, she asked for wool, balls and balls of it, red, blue, green, yellow, purple, pink, white, and black. All of this paper that you see has been hand dyed by me. This is a little um, needlework um, pattern paper and a little collaged um, pocket with lots of needlework. Then this was a vintage magic crochet saving certificate from an old magazine that I had. I just turned it into a journal card because I felt like it was a fun little add in. She knitted a jacket for the dog, a cap for the bird, and a football jumper for the cat. She knitted scarves, gloves, booties for the baby. And then more collage and this knitted and this little spinner girl here um, on that tag. Her bedroom was piled to the ceiling with wool, wool up the walls, wool under the bed, wool on the bed. And Santa just putting more yarn down the chimney here. This is a little tuck spot made from the, the leftovers of the cover of the book. Little journal card in there. Now, said Sally, now I am going to knit something really big, something absolutely enormous. Click went the needles. And a pair of pink and purple socks for herself. This is another little collage pocket. Then I made a bookmark out of the title from the cover of the book and added more of my hand spun yarn to it. She knitted one square, two squares, 500 squares, 1,000 squares. 
The thing she knitted grew so big that it covered her bed. So they stitched on the side of some of these pages. This is a little belly band. It's made actually from some Brazilian cross stitch pattern that I collaged with and added a couple little yarn stamps here. This is a little woolly um, sheep on this fun. This was actually the fly page of a children's book that had knitting on it and I just made a booklet from it. It wandered up the passage, curled up in the bath, and crept into Grandma's room. It spread into Brother Peter's room, and then into her mother and father's room. My, this is warm and snuggly, said her family. It's the best thing you have ever made. And then this is a little um, woven yarn kind of pocket from a vintage magazine and then this is just an image of a little girl kind of dressed up um like a grandmother i guess and um it's from a book called grandma's book um and she's knitting sally kept on knitting i've got to knit she said i've got to knit 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 and knit she did the thing grew so big that it burst out of the windows got stuck up the chimney pushed open the door sneaked up the pa snaked up the pavement and wrapped itself around a telegraph pole and then we have a little pocket here there's four of these pockets then they made a little matchbook style journaling space um, from this from a vintage um, needlework book There she is knitting. This is a little um, pocket here. And then this is actually from um, a children's book, um, Thumbelina. And she's actually spinning wool into yarn there and has a basket of yarn. And she's, she's actually not spinning wool, it's the spider's silk. That's just a large journal card. <clears throat> Enough, cried her mother. Everything is wild and woolly. Stop knitting, Sally. Please, stop knitting. But Sally couldn't. I've got to knit, she said. I've got to knit, 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 knit. And knit she did. Another of those pockets. And a little vintage knitting illustration from a French knitting book. A little collage pocket on that needlework paper. And then this is a little knitted cable stitching tag. The thing snarled up the traffic, got caught in the church steeple, and sank in the public swimming pool. Sally kept on knitting. She was so busy knitting that she didn't even look up when the circus came to town. And then there's a little um, <clears throat> swatch with a couple of little hand-spun yarns. That's actually from a 1970s Toronto Knitters Guild um, sort of magazine that they would send it, like a newsletter. This is like a little knitted cottage and we have this little girl. This is from a 70s knitting book and she's lying on a bed with this beautiful knitted quilt. I like how the yarn has gone into knit, knit. <laughs> and another collage belly band and another of those children's lacing cards. She didn't watch the men pulling up, putting up the big top. Click with the needles, knit, knit, knit. And another of those pockets. And then this is actually from a vintage Holly hobby book. Why is for yarn for knitting more mittens or rolled on a ball for playing with kittens? Sally was almost finished. Third last ball of wool, second last ball, last ball. She put down her knitting needles and tied a big knot in the thing. Then she smiled a great big happy smile. <clears throat> Thank goodness it's done, said her mother, but what are we going to do with this thing that is smothering the town? And 
And then just a little pocket here with this little, another of the vintage images from the knitting um, book. And I just added more of these little collage bits. She was so busy knitting that she didn't see the big top catch on fire. She didn't even hear the fire engines screaming up the street. She didn't know that the circus tent burned right to the ground. We have a little lace uh, pocket here on that handmade paper. And then this is a postcard um, printed in Ireland. And I've added this fun vintage knitting with kittens image. And another little pocket with another little vintage image of three girls knitting a stocking on these big high stools. I don't know, said Sally, but just then a little boy piped up. I know, we can take it to the circus. It can be the new big top. Everybody helped. They unwrapped the thing from the telegraph pole, unhooked it from the church steeple, rescued it from the swimming pool, and jumped on it to squeeze out the water. Another pocket with this um, vintage image of girls knitting. And this little mouse in this little knitted cave. And this has um, a vintage, um, I forget the name of the book. It was a vintage knitting and crochet book, but it was about like different motifs of color work. And it's on a little yellow sack. Then they rolled it up. It was as fat as a barrel and so long that it stretched around three corners and right up the main street. Everybody except Sally carried it to the circus. It made the biggest and finest tent anyone had ever seen. On the other side of that sack and inside we have a little journal card of these kids knitting with this tiny little dog. And this is another little knitted swatch on um, it's a pocket and this vintage image of a girl knitting. Come to the circus, Sally called her friends. Come and see the clowns and the bears, the acrobats and the lady on the flying trapeze. But Sally was too busy. She was in the kitchen baking cakes. She was up to her elbows in flour, knee deep in recipe books, surrounded by pots and pans. And then a belly band here. Um, this is actually from a 1970s Toronto Knitters Guild book. And then this is some concept art. <laughs> it's just this funny image of this kind of spacey woman with her little knitted sculpture there. She made gingerbread men for the boys next door, pumpkin scones for grandmother, biscuits for brother Peter, a chocolate sponge for afternoon tea, 40 jam tarts and a rich fruit cake. She licked the bowl and licked the spoon. Then she gave a funny little smile. Now she said, now I am going to bake something really big, something absolutely enormous. Another swatch from the Knitting Guild there. It's a little pocket for this vintage um, cover of Betty Crocker's Merry Makings, Fun Foods for Happy Entertaining. So I've gone from making ephemera that's yarn related to maybe baking related because this is her new, her new big mission. And there we see her with her head in a bowl and making a cake. And then over here, a little yarn pocket there. And this is a recipe for peanut butter cookies and it is a journal tag. And there she is with her, her hands in the dough. <laughs> and then the circus at the end. And then at the end of the book, I just kept it the same paper, added my little um, signature stamp and signed the book and added some little bits of the same yarn into the wax. And that is the end of something absolutely enormous. I thought it was a really cute story and it was a fun set of colors to work with. I love getting to work with orange because it's not a color that I often work with. So it was nice to be able to spin a colorful yarn to incorporate into this book and kind of bring together the different kinds of creative inspirations that I have in my life. And um, yeah, so if you're seeing this video, this book will be headed up to my Etsy shop. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. You can find the links to my shop and all other things Studio Lou down below in the description box. Bye for now.